Hello everyone. Are we all excited for an AI hackathon? This session talks about AI for productivity and this session is not like any other session that you have been so far because right now we are not talking about AI in one field, AI in that field, AI in the third field. We are chartered accountants, we are professionals. We are meant to be AI for productivity so that we can enhance ourselves. We can satisfy our client expectations, we can turn around our practices and we can be the best CA professionals, accounting professionals, finance professionals, be the best in whatever we do. So that is why just give me 10 minutes of your time and I assure you, I promise you, you are going to love this session, you are going to take away something that is going to stay with you for your life. Just a quick thing, why you should listen to me, um, I'm a very sought after speaker, no doubts about that. Um, I'm a proud chartered accountant, I have studied from Stanford, I have presented at some mega conferences, my next presentation is scheduled in I am Bangalore, US, Portugal, Wharton and uh, I am working on a Harvard Business Review project which is very close to my heart, love to discuss with any one of you, please feel free to connect with me. So, when I am talking about AI for productivity, research states that productivity can be increased by 66% when we use AI. How many of us have used ChatGPT, Gemini, whatever? How many of you, of all of us have used it? Yes? Wow, almost all of us. As a chartered accountant or as a professional, AI helps us in creating chatbots which, through which we can serve our clients 24-7. It is a July month. All of us are busy. We can transform our direct tax filing, income tax return preparations with AI, which I will show you, be showing you the use case just in a few moments. Honestly, tell me. Honestly, I'm not going to tell anyone. You can share it with me. How many of us have missed filing at least one GSTR return for our client? Yes? Come on, you can be honest with me. Yes? That, that is very painful, right? I know, I know, it's painful. With artificial intelligence, we can create custom chatbots for us, which can tell us that GSTR1 is due on this date for this client, GS2 is due for this client, GSTR3, so that we don't miss and increase our productivity again and again. AI is amazing for drafting of letters, appeals, petitions, reducing our cost of operations and so that we can expand not only in India, but abroad and everywhere. Since it is a return month, we are very familiar with this form, all of us. So, one of the tools that we can use is a tool known as Gemini. Open up the Gemini, it is Google Gemini. Open up this, upload your ITR form, any ITR that we want to work upon for this month of July. Just upload it in the Gemini, open this task bar and just ask it for each and every column. What does this column mean? What does this section mean? What should I fill in this column? Like I asked Gemini about, explain to me section 115 BAC right now simultaneously so that I can work upon. Another thing, in chat GPT, now I have an option to upload entire ITR forms. I can upload entire ITR 2, 3, 4 and ask chat GPT that my client is having this problem my client is having that problem, what should I do, where should I do? Surprising, right? But that's the reality. Now, the game changer. Our Honorable Institute has launched the CAGPT, a game changer, surely about to transform our practices. We just need to log in with our member IDs, get an, OP, uh, get an OTP, 18 chat GPTs right at our disposal. So, before that, let's see some live case. Are we getting it on the screen? I think the tech team needs to, the live demo should come on the screen. Yes? I will request the tech team to see. screen should come on the screen. Yes, 
Okay, okay. So, uh, I opened up the GPT platform. I uploaded ITR2 for the client. And when I saw, I asked it, my client has rupees 2 lakh income. Where should I show in this in the ITR form? The GPT replied to me that to show the income of rupees 2 lakh in the ITR2 form, I should go to the section known as details of salary. There I should enter about gross salary, exempt allowance, net salary. Thereafter, I should go to another section or the schedule and I should mention, mention about the different details. Now, here comes the tricky part and the important part. I asked, I have uploaded ITR2. Please be very careful about what I am going to say. I have uploaded ITR2. Again, repeating, I have uploaded ITR2 and I have asked this chat GPT that my client has a business profession. We all know ITR234 for the business professions. That's where the trick question lies. Now I have asked this chat GPT or the GPT form that my client has some expenses. He has debited, but he has not paid for that. Will that be allowed as a deduction in the ITR form or not? I think almost all of us will be knowing the answer. But let's see what the GPT responds. The GPT rightly mentioned these sections, but it caught that ITR2 is not specifically designed for business incomes and professions. You should go for ITR3 and 4. So it passed the test. Awesome. So then let's move to the next thing. So then I came to ICAI corporate laws and corporate governance GPT. I asked the GPT that what should be the minimum number of directors or the maximum number of directors in a company? So the GPT should have replied to me, it's visible on my screen, but not visible on the, the screen. It shows me that the minimum number of directors, the maximum number of directors a company can have or the company cannot have. And it shows me a private company should have at least two directors, a public company should have at least three directors, OPC should have at least one director. No worries about that. So when we are talking about AI for productivity, AI is not just meant for one particular aspect or other aspects, we can use it for coding platforms. We can use it to create our own custom GPTs. We can use it for risk minimization, which is very important for us as chartered accountants or as professionals. We can use it to do sentiment analysis, to do research purposes, and to do perform fraud detection. One of the things which is very close to my heart for using AI for productivity is about data visualization. When we are in the age of data analytics, advanced algorithms, it is very important that we do data visualizations. We have many softwares like Power BI, Copilot, we have Gemini, we have Looker Studios, which can do data visualizations very well. So when we are talking about using AI, when we are talking about reforming our practices, it is very important to know that AI is not a chartered accountant. We are chartered accountants and AI cannot replace it at any cost. It is very important that you should not completely rely because we all know what happened in the US. One of the advocates, attorneys over there, he just copied the case laws, presented but the case laws, they were all hallucinated. That should not work because we are chartered accountants. Nobody can ever replace us. We are here to drive the nation's growth forward Therefore, it is very important that we take the responsibility. We do not take AI for granted. So here we are. I would like to end my presentation. Thank you very much for being a wonderful audience. Just before I go, uh, just a last question. How many of you will use AI today? Yes. All right. Whatever I presented to you, you can use it right now, right at this moment. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the city. Thank you.